So first things first, we're going to be taking the shade Edge, which is a gorgeous yellow shade, and we're just going to be applying that all over our crease. We're definitely going to take it up a little bit higher because my crease folds do fold in quite a lot, so I just want to make sure that I really bring that up so that it adds a little bit of drama. You will also see here that the color does oxidize a little bit. As you can see on the other eye, it does get a little bit darker, so just note that. So once I've finished putting that crease color all over, I'm going to go in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to start cutting that crease. As you can see, I used a very precise brush and this is basically just going to make sure that my cut crease is very perfect and precise and that there's a huge definition between the crease color and the actual lid color. I feel like this is so essential, especially if you have lids that fold very easily and you can't really see the work, it makes the biggest difference. So I would really recommend this to anybody who has eyelids like I do. You also want to work really quickly with this product because it does dry super fast, so you want to make sure that you just get it on there as fast as possible and as precise. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Dawn, and I'm going to be placing that over the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and this is going to be half of my lid color. So we're doing half a cut crease, so we're just going to be placing that all over that side and you can see it's just a very simple matte color. I wanted to keep this look matte because I feel like in the fall time matte is really in. So I'm just going to be placing that all over that outer lid. And now we're going to be taking the shade Untamed and we're just going to be placing that right on the outer edges of our lid and we're going to start to smoke up that look. I'm using this very precise Morphe blending brush because I want to make sure that I really tightly pack that color in there and that I also make sure that it's blended out with both of the colors which we are using. I feel like this is super important to, to make sure that you go back and forth and really blend everything out because you do not want there to be any harshness between both of the lid colors. You want it to diffuse very, very nicely onto the end of that lid. So always make sure that you really, really make it precise as you can see right here. Now we're going to be taking the shade All Star. And I really wanted to be very creative with this look, so I went ahead and used the shade All Star, which is this beautiful burgundy shade, as my wing liner. I normally like to do my black wing liner, but because we are doing that whole vibe of fall time, I felt like it was so appropriate to do this beautiful burgundy color. And not only that, these shades from the Subculture palette are so pigmented that it really is really easy to make a nice wing liner that looks very, very pigmented and very, very sharp with this Type of shadow and as you guys saw I started from the outer part of my wing and then started to bring it into the inner corner I feel like this is the easiest way and then I can just go and make sure that it's outlined perfectly and you guys know I am a perfectionist when it comes to my wing liners so I had to just really cut that and make it sharp so now I'm using my favorite lashes at the moment, which are the Millionaire Lashes by Cake Face Beauty. If you haven't checked out Cake Face Beauty, you totally need to. They are an up and coming lash brand. They are so amazing. You just need to check them out. Um, but here I'm going back in with that all star shade and I'm just dragging that along my lash line with a tight, very, very tight brush just so that it stays in that area and it doesn't go too far down. And also it makes sure that it doesn't start to get into those crease lines that you may have and just look nasty. And the last thing we're going to go ahead and do is add some mascara to our lower lashes to just add a little bit of drama. And now we are complete. So this is the final look. <laughs> 